had it all today. We had mono freaking red. We had mono freaking white. We beat them all. We destroyed all of their lands. You have no lands, no chance. Get out of here. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you also very much for tuning in. And yes, I am back. I had a lot of fun in Frankfurt, and sadly, yesterday, I could not do the video for yesterday. So you're getting it today with a mixture of partially recorded yesterday and uh, at the end was recorded today. And the deck that we have is very a spicy a meatball. But before we get into that, let me get my reading glasses. We have a lot of new patrons and members to welcome to the ranks of our Meloniacs, because I don't know why, maybe it is these sexy tokens, you know, that <laughs> inspire people to join our ranks, because if you are a gold span dragon or Nico Polo's good pharaoh, I will send you those tokens, and we'll all be, uh, I will do it at the end of the month, so all of my patrons members still have time to send me all their addresses, because it's not everyone has done it, but hey, you know, first thing in February, I will be sending out those tokens, so, Let's greet our newest members! We have a new Zedru the Great Hearted, Rübezal. Thank you so very much. Nice name. I love it. And it reminds me of myself. I kind of look like a Rübezal myself. If you want to know what it is, well, Google it, my friends. There we have some new Gold Span Dragons at Floris. Thank you so very much. Ganondorf, I mean Ganon Deal. Thank you very much. Giving me some Zelda vibes here. And Drake L. Thank you so much for upgrading. To freaking gold span dragon. But that is not enough. We also have a new Nicole Bolas. God, Pharaoh. Ink now. Thank you so much for choosing the highest freaking tier and supporting the channel with your hard earned cash. I really, really freaking appreciate it. And you also will get those tokens. Just let me know where I can send them. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the land destruction hammering. Today we're playing Burn It All Down. Burn it. All to the freaking ground. And how are we destroying lands? Well, with the fall of Kruuk. Here it is. Choose a target opponent. Destroy target land and play it controls. So you can destroy either a color they absolutely need or a man land. Then you deal 3 damage to the player and 1 damage to each creature they control. That is super good. If you're up against someone that has like a lot of little tokens or whatever, now they're gone so. And uh, yeah. You say, Malone, this is six color card, a uh, six mana card. How are we making sure that we can even play that? Well, we're playing the Arcane Bombardment. And we're throwing this into our graveyard and then we will be playing it over and over and over. And you guessed it, over freaking again. So yeah, once this is below your Arcane Bombardment, oh, you going to have so much freaking fun. Because now every of your turns, every of their turns, you will be destroying lands and we will be doing it. Trust me. You will see your opponents being salty as freaking heck, just scooping or just roping you, making you dance and all of that good jazz. So yeah, be prepared for that, my friends. We also have some other cards that make certain that we win the game. You know, we're not only a land destruction game, but we're also like playing the Invoke Despair game because you know, if this is below your uh, arcane bombardment, hey, you're gonna have a good old time. That is all I'm saying. To burn down the house, making sure that you get all the devils and destroy all the creatures on the battlefield because there's little creatures it can survive burn down the house in today's meta. There is some, like a cityscape leveler, but if they're playing that, I mean, hey, you were too slow already, you know, that's all I'm freaking saying. The big score, super important, because if we can have a turn 5 arcane bombardment, we're super darn freaking happy. Turn 4 is not possible, because the big score is only playable on turn 4. So turn 5, have the arcane bombardment. Now you play your, uh, you know, you play this during your turn 4 at the end step of your opponent. Now you're on 6 mana, you draw another land, you play it, now you have your Arcane Bombardment plus one of these two spells here that only cost one, you're freaking good. Brothers to the end, super nice in here. Because in the early game, you know, if they're going white and you only have one go for the throw, or only one play with fire, now you play the Brothers to the end, bam! They have freaking nothing anymore. You can also destroy all of their artifacts if you want with this. If they're like a treasure deck, now they're not any freaking more and I love that so 
There is also some classics in here, like the Master's Charm, you know, just making certain that we throw in a graveyard what we don't want in our hand. And, uh, you know, some spells that we can get back with the Arcane Bombardment later. We also can survive, which is pretty darn good. And if we're turning into a burn deck now, because we're gaining 3 life, they're losing 3 life, that is pretty good. And this also destroys Shadrits. Just putting it out there. And all other Planeswalkers as well. But Shadrits, mm, with this, you're good. That is also why we have to go for the Throat. Just amazing against freaking Chadrid, just like the burn down the freaking house. So, together with the Master's Charm, the Fall of Crook, and Invoke Despair, if you now also have a play with fire in your freaking graveyard, now just imagine you play a play with fire and the Master's Charm every turn. That is five damage already. Now, the Invoke Despair, if they don't have anything anymore, that is six more damage. That is 11. Together with the Fall of Crook, if that is also under your, under your cane bombardment, now that is 14 freaking damage, plus they lose a land. And what are you supposed to do without lands? Nothing, I tell you. Freaking nothing. We have the Cure Rate. Also one of the new cards. Aha, uh -huh, this must be one of the ancient keys. No, it's just a toy. This card is okay. You know, you survey two, you draw a card. So you can throw in your grave at what you don't want. But you can also get in your hand what you want. And that is pretty darn good. Why are we playing Make Disappears? Well, because Invoke Despair is still a real freaking threat. And we hate Invoke Despairs. That is why we're playing the Make Disappear, just to make certain that we can get rid of whatever freaking Invoke Despair they have. Unless they have a million of those, which might be happening. Rona's Vortex. You either return the token to their hand or whatever creature to buy yourself some time and trigger your Arcane Bombardment for one single mana, which is darn freaking good. Go for his throat, of course, also very nice. And the Pilfer, because I thought, you know, this discards anything but lands. So, if they don't have lands and no cards to play, this is just amazing. Because if you got a Pilfer in your graveyard and now you get to discard something of them every single turn, that is something that I, Evil Malone, approve of. Why am I Evil Malone? I'm sitting over here. Who else would be sitting over here? So, that is the whole idea. Just destroy all of their lands. We have the Xander's Lounge, of course, because it makes all the mana that we need, but also can be cycled in a late game, so that is pretty darn nice. And all of these lands that you can get over if you want to, and these very beautiful artworks. I like them a freaking lot. So once more, I want to thank all of my patrons and members, but especially today, these new patrons and members that joined over five people, exactly five people. By the way, I keep saying over. <laughs> exactly five people joined uh, over the time that I was not here. So I'm very, very darn freaking grateful for that. So thank you so very freaking much. This is burn it all down. All the lands will suffer. I'm Max Malone and I will see you in those land destruction games. We are back, baby. We're up against Buff and Boria. And look at how much rank you lose if for five days you're not playing. I was at 87 before this. 87, man. And I think that it was at 96 or something like this before I left. So I lost 9% rank. Bam. Just like that. Alright, what are we up against? Reanimator? I think it is Reanimator. So let's keep up our make disappear for as long as we can. And we will need it. Oh, yes, we will. Oh, it's not. Okay, well, in that case, let's get rid of their threat here. <laughs> because that is very, very threatening. Not gonna lie about it. Okay, well, now we do have some more time. Thanks to the brothers of the end. But, you know, it ain't the best. But also ain't the worst. But we will see if they do have another electrostatic infantry. It will just be going down to the Brotherhood freaking end. Illuminator Virtuoso, eh? Okay, alright. I think we still need to, you know, get it freaking out of here. So we will see. We will see. We we don't have to rush this, you know. We still have uh, we still have the brothers at the end. We still have to play with fire here if we want to. And we do have the big score. Worst case, I do have the Rona's freaking vortex. So let's go ahead and freaking use it. All right. I mean, hey, if you just want to get rid of your own illuminator virtuoso like this, that is absolutely freaking fine with me. Absolutely amazingly freaking fine with me. So one more land and we can play to the invoke despair almost. Almost. If it is a black source, we can. If it isn't, well, we can't. We freaking can't. Okay. All right. This is also very darn freaking beautiful. 
So let us keep up our things like right now and just chill, you know? They got another Illuminator Virtuoso here, but what else do they have even? Like an Angel Fire Ignition, is that what you have? Electrostatic Infantry, okay. I feel like we're fine here, you know, we're freaking fine here. There's nothing to worry about. For now. <laughs> For freaking now. We're taking two here. Will I be getting rid of the Master's Charm or will I be using the charm to make certain we find a land? I think that that is the right freaking... But you know what? You know what? Let's do it like this. Drawing two cards here is way freaking better than losing the things we need. Okay, another play with fire, eh? So you know what? I will be getting rid of this here right now. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. Because if they do have something to protect it, they will be using it here. Yes, as I thought. And uh, yeah, that is what I thought, my friends. That is exactly what I thought. And it is exactly what I want to see here. Because now I can go ahead with the Brothers at the end and just be, you know, very, very brutal to them. Very brutal. Okay. I like it a lot. So here comes the Brotherhood and beating these suckers down. Okay, keeping up my treasure for the Invoke Despair and BAM! Who's the aggressor now, my friend? Who is it? It is me, Maloney. So, I wonder what they still have in hand. I mean, they played two Illuminator Virtuos. They played two Electrostatic Infantry. They already have seen two Ancestral Lang. What, two? What? Where's the second one in their hand? Oh, <laughs> might be. Or is this already counting? I'm so confused. What is this sign here saying? That there's two of them, right? Okay, alrighty. My friend, are you mad now? Are you mad? You should not be mad, you know? You really, really shouldn't. Oh, bring in the clowns. <laughs> My friends, if you're mad because I win, you are doing something wrong because you're up against Maloney and Maloney will come into your house, kick down the door and sit on your couch with dirty freaking shoes. I will be laying on them, you know, on your white freaking couch. And I will tell you, my friend, that you have no freaking chance in heck. All you gotta do is to let the bureau burn down. Buddy, you fell right into my trap and now you're mad. And now you're freaking mad. I mean, hey, there might be some dancing involved today. You know, they really freaking my dancing. Did you say dancing? I did say dancing. Now, no, no, no. The timer is still, you know, still here. All right, the fall of Krug. <laughs> the fall of freaking Krug. So we're getting rid of their uh, white source here. I mean, hey, you know, we're doing it. You know why? Because we can. Because we freaking can. I bet they're even madder now. But the thing is that once the time runs out, we're super darn good. Do I really? In the first game already. Dance. Do I really do it? I think you should. I think you should do it. Why? I mean, it's just the first freaking game. Yeah, but still. It's time for a little dance. And here it goes, the fall of Krug, man! Okay, so we have time for a little bit more dancing, don't we? Yes, we do. And here, my friends, is the point where even below will say, get freaking out of here. So we destroyed some land and we danced and now we're going first. What is this, Krimis? Oh, come on, I was about to say it. I know, that's why I stole it from you. Get out of here. All right, I like this hand, even though it looks super crazy. But trust me, it ain't. It ain't super crazy. <laughs> 69, nice! That is nice, and they're playing Mono Red. How can they be so low in the ranking if they're playing Mono Red? I don't understand. 
I really do not understand. So we do have an answer for anything here right now. Apart from a maybe, uh, you know, the, 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 the Swift Spare Monastery. Monastery Swift Spare. Okay, do I want this to happen? I do not want this to happen. I really do not want it to happen. I don't think they have anything else. If they do, we can still play with Fire It. Okay, I now know why they're so low in the rankings. I do know it now. Because they're doing stuff like that. Okay, alright. Whatever, my friend, whatever. I mean, we do have the Fall of Krug here, you know. We, we still have things in our hand to uh, do, you know. Uh, are we taking one hit here? I think we are. I think uh, the, the, the trick here will be doing this. Alright, I have to pay two life here. I know, I know, but still totally worth it. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that is bad. I think we have to go for the land here. I think we absolutely have to. Even though I don't want to, but we have to. The Rona's Vortex is pretty good here as well. All right, so let us see how they do things. Um, this time I will just shoot him in the face. All right. I mean, we're taking one that's better than two. They don't have an instant or sorcery. I like that. I really do. Okay. All right. The end of festivities number three. No, number two. Okay. <laughs> Still, I don't know why they're doing it, but they are. Oh, my lord. They will be losing all of their land very soon. Oh, baby. Oh, this is just so nice. We're up against a mono red deck that is so unlucky. So freaking unlucky. I cannot put in words how unlucky they are. I just can't. <laughs> All right, this is also super darn freaking good, you know, so we're getting rid of this and then we will have our uh, fall of crook every single turn very soon Because there's not too many things in here, you know, not too many All right, this is even better. So what are we doing? I don't want to throw like useless stuff in my library Um, Let's do it like this. I mean we will be drawing this during their turn anyways, you know and we can now return this to their hand when they play it, you know, and just be happy about it. Alright. Yeah, go ahead, tap it. You don't have anything. We already established that you don't have freaking uh, any instant spells. So, tap it, my friend. Tap it real good. Whatever you do. I just, just do it, you know? <laughs> Whatever you do, just do it. This is just an okay card. Uh, maybe, maybe you know what? Dude. Dude, do something. Just why would people make me dance now every single game? Wouldn't that be nice? No, man. <laughs> it gets old at a certain point, you know? Well, you know what also gets old? You're mad. Don't just say it. Don't just say it. All right. I mean, hey, you know, this is just beautiful. They're just doing this so that they act like they're thinking about their life choices. But in all honesty, they're not. They're freaking a nut. Oh, people really hate me, don't they? Goofstones McGee. Come on, man. <laughs> this is just amazingly freaking terrible of you. Just amazingly freaking terrible. I mean, it's not my fault that you, like, you know, don't have anything here. Like, what are you even doing, man? I. Alright, alright, I think that this will be the danciest video freaking ever. I knew it! I knew they would be dancing, but we will still wait a little bit, you know, just a little bit. You're a monster, I know! <laughs> I learned from the best! Evil freaking Malone, that is me! Yes, that is you. Alright, yeah, I think it is alright. So, what are you doing here, my friend? Are you attacking in now? Nope, you're letting the timer run out because you're a little... Little wee cry, baby. A wee little cry, baby, aren't you? Okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, I'm enjoying this, you know? I really am enjoying this. I now have the fall of Krug below this. I will never, never let them stop me at all. I'm just, oh my lord, how can you be such a little crybaby goof, Stone Mickey? How dare you? Wasting all of our time. Is he really wasting our time if we, like, you know, keep, keep dancing? 
Should we? I don't know, man. Maybe we should. Yeah, but maybe we should wait until the timer comes. And not until then, maybe you can play one of your famous kazoo solos. All right, I will be doing this. <laughs> The timer is here. Also, I want to show you something. You can always do the report bug, use the capture log, then you can, you know, tell the game what people are actually doing. If you think they're cheating or something, I would not be doing that because, you know, usually they aren't cheating. But if they're letting the timer run out, obviously like this, you know, that is just super darn freaking annoying of them. Super darn annoying of them. But hey, you know, I would be mad as well if I had nothing to do all day long. So, what you gonna do now, my friend? Are they still letting the timer run out? They went to full control here. They went to full freaking control here. At least the game is cool and giving them this right away, you know, that is at least something. But I think that they freaking left here. Yes, I think they did. Oh, oh my lord. The good thing is I can fall of crook here once more into another fall of crook and that is just amazing. Wasn't this the most amazing game that we have ever freaking seen? Oh my lord it wasn't. And here they explode. No they don't even explode. Okay. I mean let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Getting rid of all of your lands my friend. All of them. And uh, yeah let's look at the top five cards. Let's do it once more. Wait, this one took care of this. Okay, so we're getting rid of this one and this. Okay, all right. Uh, let's put this into our hand. Nice. Dude, you're sleep making. You're making me sleep here, you know? That is just what is going on. You're making me freaking asleep here. So we're taking the Invoke Despair. They're nicing us now, you know? They're freaking nicing us now. But, you know, that is... That is just what you get. That is just what you get. Okay. Let's give another snooze heat run here. Yeah. <laughs> I will be back when their head explodes. And we're back. Goofstone McGee is still like, you know, being a little crybaby about everything here. About freaking everything. And we have enough to freaking destroy them. So let's shoot their face here with this. Let's uh, drain them for three. Let's use the fall of Krug here. And then we're good, and then we're good, all right. Yeah, draw it, whatever, it doesn't even really matter. They're nice to me all day long. They have no more lands left, no more lands. <laughs> Get freaking out of here, Goofstone McGee. You silly geese, you silly goose. Silly Goofstone McGoose. Get out of here. You should have danced, you know? Hey, I will not dance like two games in a row, you know? That is not how we do things. Why not? I decide. <gasps> We're going first? What is this, Krimis? Oh, come on, dude. Come on. You did it twice in a row. <laughs> twice in a row. You're very, very evil. I know. Okay, we're back in business. I will be going with the uh, Shipwreck Marsh. It doesn't really matter, we're up against Mono Red. Going second, which is good for us. Oh, it's not Mono Red. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. So, maybe I should have gone with the Haunted Ridge first, just to have to play with Fire Open. We just need to find the land sooner or later, and we're happy like a clown, Charlie freaking Brown. Okay, we will be going with the drawing a land here. Okay, okay, that is, that is still fine, you know. We'll have another queue right next turn to find another land. And we will just have to see what our opponent does here. They're playing the um, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. The Celestis. Interesting. Well, not interesting, but good for you, my friend. Good for you. I will be going with the blue here and with the black here because I really want to have my uh, Make Disappear open if I can. Alright, these are both good. These are both really good. So we do have to make this appear open now. 
to go for your throat. We have the fall of Kuruuk. Your own consider, eh? And consider away, my friend. Dream your dream. As long as I will be able to finally play a normal game here, I will be happy with that, you know? Very darn freaking happy. So, what you got here? What have you gotten? If they're like playing a creature, I will just go for the throat, you know? If they're not doing anything. Okay, they're not doing anything. That is nice. I like it. I really do freaking like it. Because right now we're still looking good. The Flame Blast Bolt. Alright, I knew that I would find this. So it's okay. I, I can live with that. I really can. But they're not playing any Mono Blue or something like that, you know? So I'm okay. I'm alright. I don't cry. Are you also a freaking... Uh, arcane Bombardment deck now? Holy smokes. If they are... That would be crazy. Freaking crazy, man. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Looks like they're maybe just a... Um, what's his face? An Invoke Calamari deck? I think they are. Just Invoking Calamari. Alright. We are getting rid of the Brotherhood Ant here, I think. No, you know what? Maybe we need it later if they have like a lot of treasures and stuff. Here it comes, Invoke Calamari. No! No invoking no Calamari here. Okay. Alright. Let's go with the Invoke Despair now. Really, really need to find some answers. Uh, because it's getting like a little bit dangerous here, you know? I mean, this is what? One, two, three swamps. Right now, I'm not that afraid. The Negate! Alright, negate is fine. They better use it here than on anything else, you know? And the fall of Krug is still a real threat. <laughs> it's still a real freaking threat for them. So what you got here, my friend? Do you have your invoke despair for yourself now? If you do, that's okay. I can live with that for now. For now. And we will see. I do have my own invoke despair here, you know? Alrighty. I wish that I would find things. That would be cool if I could, you know. Just find freaking things. Let's get rid of their only blue source. If they do have another negate, you know, there's only so little a Maloney can do. Oh my lord, really? Freaking really? They really are an Invoke Calamari deck. And I, say I kept myself open like this. Terrible. Terrible, my friend. Freaking terrible. All right, I mean, hey, I fell right into their trap, you know. I did fall right into it. And even if I wouldn't have fallen into the trap, they still had, like, you know, an answer to my make disappear with their two lands here. So, yeah, that's okay. I don't like it, but it is what it is. It is what it freaking is. As long as they don't have their own freaking, you know... Bang in hand, their, uh, their, their bombardment, we're kind of fine still. For now! Not really, because we're like not finding anything of value right now, but we might still have a small insignificant chance. The smallest of all insignificant chance! But finally somebody plays the game and we're not finding answers. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that freaking beautiful? So, we still have to make this beer, but what are we using it on? I don't really know. So, my friend, do you have something here? Burn down the house. Alright. And... That's it? Okay, alright, I can live with that. I mean, I will be taking another 3 damage after this, but that's still alright, you know? That is still A-OK -okay to me. So... Dealing three here. Taking three. The Rona's Vortex is still a thing that we have in hand. That is good. I like it. But I'm still, like, you know, very much afraid here of what might come. Because we're not finding our good stuff. Yeah, that is something that I will be doing as well. Exactly with the same freaking card, even. So... 
Our opponent is like, you know, very, very playing very well here with everything they need. But we're not. We're, we're playing very bad with everything we need here. <laughs> very darn bad. So they could even like double up and invoke Calamari if they want to. And it looks like they're going to do exactly freaking that. Maybe they have the Invoke Despair now? They do have the Invoke Despair now. Okay. So let's counter one of them at least, you know? That is at least freaking something. And now we're shooting their face to make certain that we find what we need? Nope. Please don't, game. Please don't. I really, really need to find something here. I really do need to find something. Whatever it is, I will gladly freaking take it. Gladly take it. So right now they're very much in the advantage here. Very much so. And we're finding no answer at all. Alright, the big score is at least something, you know, I, I, I'm okay with that, but I really need to find something else. Okay, the fall of Krug, why not? A little late, but hey, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do about it? So they could still just do it again, you know, just uh, go with another double it up spell and just do it again. Alright, here they are, doing it again. Okay. But what are they doing again? Invoke despair and... The consider. I mean, we cannot counter it, you know? There is just nothing we can do about it. Just taking it. Just freaking taking it. Going down to one. All they need now is like one burn down the house or whatever and we're super darn freaking dead. And then, yeah, that's it, mister, that's it. <laughs> and then that's it, mister, that's freaking it. <laughs> Please give me something here, game. Please, whatever it is, I gladly freaking take it. Of course it is a land. Of course it is a land. Of course it is. Like, what else, you know? What freaking else would it be but a land? Come on, game. Come on. Why? Why? I now watch him have like another Invoke Despair or just the Calamari. Disgusting. Freaking disgusting. Yep. Good game, my friend. Good game. They didn't even need anything, you know? Hey! Hey! I'm telling you right away! If we wouldn't have like, you know, but just throw nothing here, we would have had a small insignificant chance, but not like this. Not like this. You know, sometimes you eat the shark and sometimes the shark just gets onto the top rope and gives you a freaking elbow drop of the century on your little monkey face. And that is just what happened to me here. I had no chance whatsoever. Neon. Alright, this is good though. With the cure rate we can make certain that we find something beautiful. Refines informant. That is refined with me. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, these two lands are exactly what I want to see here. Freaking exactly. I mean, hey, whatever they have, you know, we can just... Getting rid of a land? Alright, that buys me even more time. And I like that. I really do. So, we do have to burn down the house also, you know? Things are looking A-okay for us. A-freaking okay. Well, that, I cannot let that stop. That is too much power. Way too much power. Well, if I would have known that I have a Brotherhood and common air, you know, maybe I would have changed my, uh, my, uh, my, my, my move here and not counter it, but hey, I did not know it. I just didn't know it. How was I supposed to know? All right, I'm not doing anything here. That is very dangerous, my friend. If I draw a black source here, that is all I need, you know. I still am good. I can still use my Invoke Despair just to get rid of them. Okay. I will be doing it because it draws me two cards. And if we ever find our arcane freaking bombardment in this day and age, we will be happy, you know, very darn happy. There is the land that I was looking for. Oh, beautiful. Oh, freaking beautiful. The Wandering Emperor. Oh, no, the horror. The horror. <laughs> I will just, you know, burn down the house here. Just do that. The fall of Kruug is not the best thing to happen here right now. I could also, like, you know, go for the throat here. Or just return that to their hand. And then what? Let's do that. Buy ourselves some time. Okay. Alright. 
And now we go for this. Because why the freaking heck not? Give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't do it. There is none. You will find no answer to my question of giving me a darn good reason why I shouldn't be doing this. I hope they will be bringing down one more creature or whatever. Maybe they even have another wandering emperor and it sure looks like it. Sure freaking does look like it. Okay, they go with all of these refined informants, which is so crazy to me. Why? A freaking a why? I mean, you do you, my friend. I will not tell you how to play the game, but I'm just still wondering. Oh my. Oh, the ambitious farmhand. Isn't that a good answer to, a, like, a, you know, land destruction deck? Yes, it is. The answer is yes, it is. They're going with the pump up? You do Remember you, my friend. Your training. You uh, do to you. Alrighty. Good day to you, sir. I said good day. And now we do have the master's charm to find whatever we need here. Hopefully. Freaking hopefully. They still have a wandering emperor. I can tell you that much. They're holding priority way too good here. Oh, my sweet lord. Okay, we did find the bombardment. So let us hope that they have a wandering emperor, you know? Or maybe they do have another freaking soul partition. They do have another soul partition, okay. That is still alright, you know? We still have answers to that. The Sarah Paragorn. I do not like that one singular bit. Not in the slightest. No, sir. No, sir. Alright, there you go with a smart choice, you know, I would have done the same, because we're a land destruction deck, so you really, really have to do it. They also have lands in there now, so that's also alright, you know. Okay, I will be going with the, um, uh, Rona's Vortex here. Oh my, I have to go for the throat, though. We cannot let that slide. Man, that last game was so brutal. I am still shaking in my boots at how well they had all the Invoke Calamaris they needed. Like, how many times did we get invoked this spirit? A bajillion? A freaking bajillion times? Yeah, we did. We did. Okay, alright. Like, we do have another arcane bombardment, so I'm not that afraid, you know? Only a slightly mama hold me. Only ever so slightly mama hold me. We go with this arcane bombardment right here. We're using the Rona's Vortex on the Steel Seraph. Do you really have another of those touching the spirit realm? Okay, alright, I can live with that. And you know why? Because, oh! <laughs> we do have this now! So, hey, I'm okay with this, you know, we do have the Fall of Krug now here. Oh, beautiful. Oh, freaking beautiful. Alright, let us hope that they're playing something. Because then we have infinite fall of freaking crooks here. Oh. Okay. I mean, it isn't perfect, but at least it's something, you know. And maybe we're even getting something good out of this. The pilfer is terrible. The pilfer is just terrible. Like, very, very terrible. Like, come on. Who plays the Lauren of the Third Path? Who does that? Who freaking does play that? I don't know anybody who ever played this, you know, anyone, no one ever played this. But here we are, the only person in the known freaking universe playing the Lauren. And that is just all there is to, just all there is to. Come on game, why are you doing me like this? Please tell me why. Okay. We're still in it, you know, we still have to play with fire here, and there's a lot of good things that we want. A lot of them. Are you kidding me? You're not doing that. No, sir. No freaking way. Like, what is even going on here? Okay. <laughs> what, is, what is even going freaking on here? Alright, this will draw some cards. I like that a lot. Okay, that draws us even more cards. Good, good. Good, good. <laughs> I'm in awe at how well they're playing the game here. So are you bringing down Amicia's Foundry? Are you doing that now? The ambitious farmhand. That means you could still do it technically. You could technically still do it. So that is pretty good for you, isn't it? 
All right, so we're in very much in danger here. Very, very much in danger here. Because we're like, you know, going down to two. Okay. Ooh, the play with fire, though. The play with fire might just be the one thing to save us. Going for the throat. Wait, cancel. I have to do it like this, don't I? Freaking don't I. But the thing is that we now have the Invoke Despair below. And with the big score, oh my lord, I cannot believe that we're still doing this, you know? I just cannot freaking believe it. I will be shooting this right away. Right freaking away. Wait a second. Is this... Um... Okay. Ending the turn. Alright. I wonder why I don't have any freaking red sources. But hey, but hey, I will be getting rid of the arcane bombardment. If I don't find like anything else here with this, oh my lord, it's going to be terrible. Freaking terrible. Burning down the house? That's good. That is really good. Oh, I forgot about the Invoke Despair. <laughs> I really did forget about it. Forget about it. All right, so the burn down the house will be doing nothing here, which is okay. It's all right, you know. <laughs> we still have it below now. So, yeah, we still have it below the thing. So that is still all right. That is still absolutely all right. The wedding announcement. Oh, no, the horror. The freaking horror. Can we win here now? Um, Let's wait a second. We're playing the mountain. We're playing the fall of Kruuk, which is super darn good. Which deals one damage to each creature. I think we got him. I think we freaking got him. Oh, with one life, man. With one freaking life, man. We freaking got him. All right, we're making the devils. We're invoking despair. And we're going for the throat. Even the order is perfection, man. The order is just freaking perfection. Oh, after that last game. This just feels amazing. And we burn him to death. So, uh, yeah. Oh, we're not burning them to death yet. But we can if we want to. Because we're still before a taxi. <laughs> oh, I will not be doing it. I will be doing it like this. Just because it is a little bit more hilarious. Just slightly more hilarious, man. Oh, my lord. And get... Out of here, Revson! Get freaking out of here! We had it all today! We had mono freaking red! We had mono freaking white! We beat them all! We destroyed all of their lands! You have no lands! No chance! Get out of here! You know, the people are being extra salty today! I love it! I really do! We had a lot of them! Oh my lord, I'm going first! What is this, Kremis? Come on, get out of here, Evil Malone. Get out of here. All right, I mean, all we need is one more land. Story of my life, you know? Just one more land and we're good. Oh, it's Golgari. Okay, all right. I wonder what the gold doing here, though. I will just be keeping the uh, go for the throat here. And we're good. And we're freaking good. All right, are you... What are you doing, though? I'm very confused. And I really, really hope that, you know, you're not rampant. If I cannot be rampant, you cannot be rampant. Easy, easy as pie. Easy as freaking pie. So we've drawn three cards, none of them were lands. So let us just hope that we will be finding those lands, you know. We'll be getting rid of you here. Hello, hello, friendly waver of the hand. Hello there. <laughs> hello. So, good game. Okay, good game. Yeah, if you say so. Nice. Thanks. Come on, game. 
Do I really have to do this now just to find a land? This is terrifying. Well, there's at least a land now, you know? At least we got that going for us. And, um... Uh, I mean, we're also very soon to playing just the fall of Krug here. And I will be doing that. Yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will. So they're going for what? The topiary stomper. Alright. That is still alright with me, you know? I'm not afraid yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid, but not too much, you know? Um... Should I just be burning down the house here? I think I should, right? I mean, hey, we're getting rid of everything they have. They now could if they want to awaken the woods, but then I will just brothers at end, and if I draw another land, I will even do them more dirty. By playing the fall of Kruuk here. Oh gosh, game. <laughs> oh gosh, game. Oh gosh, game. Yeah, that is brutal, man. <laughs> nice. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. I really do. I've been waiting for something like this all freaking day long, and here it is now. Okay. All right. We turn up the two target creatures to your hand. That is okay with me. Oh my lord. Oh, my sweetest baby Jesus. If I do draw another land here, I will go with the big score. If I don't, well, then we're still okay. We make... I will do that later. Thank you, Arena. Thank you very much. <laughs> I will not do it now. I hope you understand. I hope that is all right with you. Burn down the house is also very nice here. Let's just do it. Let us just burn down the freaking house. What else have we got here to go for your throat? Why not? I mean, they... Now they know that they will never, ever have a chance ever again. We are in lockdown mode. I mean, they could have the tear asunder. But in all honesty, I don't think that that will happen. Okay. Alright. Why, though? Freaking why, though? No! Yeah, okay, once is enough. <laughs> you can tell me once, that is alright. So I will be getting rid of the brothers at the end here. And hopefully I find something beautiful. Like one more fall of, you know... Nope, okay. Well, let's do this then. And hopefully find something good. Like, uh, the Invoke Despair is pretty good. Not gonna lie about it. Not gonna freaking lie about it. So what else are we getting here? Two lands. Okay. Alright. Let's keep the Invoke Despair for now, you know. We never know what they have. Tear asunder? Are you tearing asunder here? Are you doing that? I don't know, man. You could. You might. There's a high possibility that they do, you know. But in the end, what does it even do them any good? Nothing, I tell you. Are you, are you still here, my friend? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I don't know if that is the right call, my friend. Yeah, I was waiting for you. I really was freaking waiting for you. Not even kidding. Not even freaking kidding. So I will be doing this just to get one more freaking pump out of it. The Brotherhood and... Yeah, why not, you know? Now, I will be looking at more cards and I will be destroying you once more. Like, the more times I destroy you, the freaking better. Um, alright, perfect. <laughs> freaking perfect. <laughs> Just amazing. So, does this even trigger? Yeah, it does. Okay. It does trigger. Alrighty. But we don't care at all, do we now? No, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, what do we get? The Pilfer! That is super good, so I can get rid of their freaking uh, Gix's command. There goes your... Um... Oh, the Rona's Vortex is also beautiful. There goes your freaking uh, Titan of Industry number two. Alrighty! Here's the Brandon Swen. 
But we do have this, so I'm not that afraid, you know? Only a little bit mama hold me, but not that much, to be honest. Not that much. So, we do have the pilfer here. Yes, all right. This looks very dangerous. Is it, though? I don't think it is, because we're drawing cards here also. Okay, you should have used my treasures. In all honesty, game, should have used my treasures. This is so good, because that means that we're drawing even more cards. And the Myronas Vortex is uh, also very darn freaking amazing here. Then we'll be getting rid of this little rhino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So how many, how much mana do we have? We do have enough. So let's do it once more. Just to be safe, you know? Just to be freaking safe. I don't want to die here, you know? Nice. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, it's two lands. <laughs> it's two lands. <laughs> Just two lands is what it is. Alright, good game. Good game. I mean, hey, I don't know why you're saying that, but uh, yeah. If you think it was a good game, I think so as well. Okay. <laughs> and pilfer just because we can. Nice. Thank you very much, Litzhak. You're a very, very nice person. I, I have to say, I think it is very nice what we're doing here, you know? I think it really is. So, I mean, hey, you know, that is just the way it is supposed to be. Oh, are you mad now? No, you're not. Okay, good, good. Because it would be very sad if you were mad here. Just very darn sad if you were mad. Oh, come on, the big score here. Good game indeed, my friend. Salty, good game. Oh my lord, we got rid of a lot of lands here once more. No cancel, I don't want to do that. Uh, decline. I just want to destroy him with the fall of Krug. We like it so many times already today. And then we're freaking good. Oh, get out of here, it's a hug. You thought you got me, didn't you? You really thought you got me, but in the end I got all of your lands. I just smashed your lands. All of them, even your little dryad lands that you made for yourself. I smashed them all. And you know why? Because I am land destruction incarnate. Get out of here. So yesterday I couldn't finish the video, you know, because of um, the update and everything. What is with all the two landers? <laughs> It's just a curse. Malone, the cursed one. So, and I want to get one more match in. So here we are now. The day after. Fresh new style and everything. But we are still here. Oh my lord, okay. Well, I mean, hey, you know, we have to play with fire to make certain that we can find something. If we really have to. But, you know, I always start with a two-lander. Every single time. So, yeah, what am I supposed to do about it? It is just who lands coming down every single freaking time. Okay, if I find a land here, we're good, you know? Well, that is all right. I will take it because it's a land, you know? I will not complain about that. And, uh, yeah, let us see what they're doing. I mean, hey, the Night of the Dusk Shadow is all right for them, but, you know, I, I can live with that. I really can. And if they're activating this, hey, even freaking better, you know? And they are! So, good night, little knight. <laughs> good night. <laughs> so we will see what they're taking care of, because whatever they're taking care of, I'm drawing a card, and I will get it back sooner or later. So yeah, I think it's going to be the Invoke Despair. Everybody hates the Invoke Despair. No? Interesting, okay. That's weird. That is indeed weird, you know? So yeah, I will be discarding this land, by the way. Why? Because I can. Because I freaking can. And we will see what they're doing. Right now it's a very, very fair match. Everybody has done something. I will be drawing cards though. Transmorcrant Ground. Okay, alright. Are you equipping this? You are. The Mad Lad. Okay. And Evolved Sleeper. Alrighty. That is fine by me. They're not equipping it though. So that is still fine. You know, I can live with that. And uh, I will be discarding this land here. If I draw another land, I could also go with the Fall of Kruuk. Well, there's a lot of land now. There is a lot of freaking land now. So, let's do this right freaking away. 
Because that way we're getting rid of the Evolved Sleeper. And next turn I can just, you know, get rid of their, um, their revealing eye here. And I like that. And I will be doing that. So, I just hope that now the land draw stops, you know? I've drawn enough land, I don't need any more lands. Okay, all right. Which one will you sack though? Okay, game, I said it's enough land, you know? I, I have enough land, I, I don't need any more land. <laughs> it's, it's all good. <laughs> I started with two, now we're at... Uh... All right. That is nice, one more land here is no bueno though. We started at two, you know, now we're at nine. And I discard one, so we're at 10. How many more of those do they have? That's just bananas, man. Just freaking bananas. Okay, I will be doing this. Yes, I want that. In this order. All right. I mean, they have two lands, you know? <laughs> they have two lands. <laughs> Whatever they're doing here, I can just get rid of it, you know? Oh, my lord, Mono Black. Did you really think you can come into my house, kick down the door and do whatever you want? Ain't gonna happen, my friend. Ain't gonna happen. All right. I mean, it is in a graveyard, but they only have two lands, so I don't really care about that. And now we even have the Xander's Lounge to go for the throat. Everything is freaking bueno. Oh, so bueno. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you can have a million crowns if you need to, but you are still king freaking nothing. King freaking nothing, my friend. Okay, as we do have the uh, the go for the throat here, I will be doing this. And next turn, we should be... Ah, they're missing two. We're missing two life here. Okay, all right. Go ahead and you do darndest, my friend. Do your freaking a darndest. Because this is the thing now. Oh, my. What do we have in here? Is there anything I really want? Hmm, should I go for a style or, you know what? This is still a real threat for them, you know? It is still a real freaking threat and next turn they will just be, you know, scooping. We, we, we all know they will, we all know they will. But I cannot have them have the life game. And wiping the whole board here was pretty darn good. All right, my friend, I'm sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. Shabwam, shaboom, and here we freaking are. Oh my, even the master's charm now. So I could have won here, you know, with attacking him and using the Master's Charm, but I really want to use it at least one more time here. The uh, good old Arcane Bombardment. Um, yeah, we're doing this, because why not, you know? There's literally no reason not to. Okay, Sedge, I really hoped that we would be doing more stuff than this, but hey, here we are now. Oh my lord, let's just pass a turn. <laughs> I'm playing with my food here, okay? I'm playing with my freaking food. I uh, I just want to be a little, you know, PM. Okay, all right. <laughs> you see, that land destruction kept them away for so freaking long, man. But who do they even think they are? Coming in the house of the master of Mono Black, try to defeat him in Mono Black. Ain't gonna happen, my friend. I will destroy all of your lands. All of your creatures, all of your artifacts, all for a little price of one little spell. So get out of here. All right, let's try to get one more in, and then uh, I'm out. <laughs> the long was day. The day was long enough. The long was day enough. We're going first. What is this, Crimis? Oh, come on, man! You did it again. All right, here we are. Um. I do not really like the hand. I have to say, but I will draw into things because I'm lucky today. Or maybe I'm not, we will find out. <laughs> but the last game was pretty lucky. And we're up against Oswald Cobblepot the Penguin himself. And we do have to make this appear, we have to go for your throat, we have to pilfer, you know, we do have answers to almost everything they might be doing. So yeah, let's just be lucky and draw into things. Evolving Wilds. Evolving Wilds. Evolving Wilds. What are you, my friend? I will be pilfering here and seeing what they are. Well, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you ain't gonna get this. So, they are kind of my deck with worse lands, you know? That is what they are. And we're just chilling for now. We will be doing nothing of the sorts of, uh, you know, doing anything. We will just be countering whatever they do. Apart from this, I don't really care about that. Draw your one card. That is all right. Okay. 
Lands ahoy, my friend. We're drawing all the lands. That means that all the good stuff is still somewhere hidden in our deck. All right, you can have it. I don't mind. Once more, all of that life, you will be losing it very soon. Okay, all the make disappears, eh? Not bad, not good, not nothing. Well, it ain't gonna happen, my friend. Just, you know, you cannot have a Teferi. That is just out of the question. Because I don't have anything. Not even, you know, I only have lands. <laughs> so what have I drawn here? Two make disappears and land? Yeah, okay. So, my opponent has all the Union of the Third Path. That is alright. You, you can do that, my friend. I don't mind. Another land, alright. But that also means that we have like a 34% chance to find a land only now. So, that is a 65% chance of find anything. All right. Well, advantage, my friend. You got the advantage now. The Rona's Vortex. I mean, why not, you know? It's okay. But right now, I'm very, very scared of the future. Very much freaking scared. Because, uh, yeah, if we don't find something beautiful, we're just sad. Very sad. And we will be very sad very soon. Alright, the Might and the Weak Zone ain't gonna happen. Uh, now we have to... Oh, baby, yes. Oh, baby, yes. I like it a lot. I really do like it a lot. Because we will have a Pilfer very soon for this, you know? Very, very freaking soon. And then maybe... Maybe luck will be on our side. Who knows? We will have to find out all together now, don't we? I just hope that they're playing something here. Come on, play something. I know you want to. I know you do. So what you got here, my friend? Nothing. Ain't gonna be playing nothing here. Do you have too many cards? What a game, man. What a freaking game. <laughs> no way, man. What a good card to have here for them. You know, even if it doesn't enter the battlefield... It will still destroy my thing, and I don't like them destroying my thing. I really don't. Okay, so let us find out what we can do here. If we will ever be able to do anything, because right now, as I said, we're looking very, very darn freaking bad. And all I need is one more land for this. So yeah, let us just pray. Pray for the best. Um... Let's make this disappear. We will find another make disappear here. Which is pretty good, you know, not gonna lie about that. The negate, alright. That will still trigger my arcane bombardment. With the pilfer. The one thing I did not want to see here. <laughs> alright. Yeah, what a, what a champion here. What a freaking champion, I love it. I have to say. I mean, we will be pilfering really hard here, you know. Really hard every single turn now, but still. Would be cooler if it would be something else. Alright. Let's do this. Pilfering them once more. And we don't need this. So this can go. And they really need to find a land here. The search engine. Okay, alright. Surge away, my friend. Dream your dream. Accruing this like this. We'll be doing this. Return this to the ground, you know, to the ground. Yeah, to the ground. Return it to the ground. So whatever they do, you know, we're, we're looking okay here. I, I really cannot complain. I just want to pilfer away and get rid of their portal to Phyraxia here. Because those are pretty darn annoying. So this is a crazy freaking game. A crazy freaking game game my friends what are you doing my friend what is it that you're doing i wonder they, they left did we really start the game with uh you know people roping us and now we're finishing strong with people roping us <laughs> i really hope i really do freaking hope you know that there is like land destruction coming up very soon very darn soon that would be so good okay all right Yep. Pilfer away, my friend. And we don't need this. They just scoop! You had no reason to scoop it, my friend. Oh, where are you so afraid? I did not even destroy your lands.
and you already decided that it was time to get out of here. Whatever that last game was, I don't care. Whatever that game was against a freaking Invoke Calamari player, I don't care anymore. We got a sweet, sweet revenge, you know? And oh my lord, the last person just didn't have to scoop, you know? <laughs> they didn't even know what we had in store for them. But they did. So hey, boo on them, you know? Boo on them. So yeah. There's not much to say about the deck. You have seen how evil it can be. Of course, there's always answers, but we're playing blue. We have to make this appear. And even without the arcane bombardment, we can still be a very, very darn evil freaking deck. And I love it. So, with the fall of Krug, we had a lot of fun. I mean, you know, that one mono black game where they couldn't do anything for the longest freaking time. We just locked them out. We drew all the lands. They had no lands. And in the end, too many lands won. How many times can you say that too many lands will win you the freaking game? I want to say thank you to all of my patrons and members that just make it possible that I can keep the lights on here at and I said on here at MTG Malone's. I really freaking appreciate it. Now my, my remote fell down. That is what I get for making the same joke every single time. And if you are still here, first of all, thank you very freaking much. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, please let me know by putting a little tiny Maloney bones down below in the comments. No, just the tiny Maloney bones because of tiny bones, but it's a Maloney tiny bone. So yeah, just put that down below in the comments. I would appreciate it very, very much. Knowing who stays until the end always warms my freaking heart. And please remember that if you're waking up tomorrow morning and you see that beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.